No, very pleased with the quarter, very strong performance. We've seen, you know, higher production, so actually reaching the upper end of our guidance. We also see for the first time on the issue the company operating costs below $4, which is uh, an outstanding result, and, and really compared to our peers, it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very good result. So obviously higher production, lower operating costs uh, led to, to the strong cash flow and, uh, and financial results. So yes, very pleased overall. Yes, I, I, I read that you uh, think low production costs is very important and that your favorite uh, way to compare is operating cash flow. So I suppose you are happy now. Uh, could you say um, the production at Johan Swede, if we were talking about that, we start at the end of next year. How confident are you that Johan Swede will live up to expectation when production well starts? I mean, over the years, Jon Svedrup has been a, a great surprise. We've seen over the years costs continuously go down. We've seen also schedule improving. And uh, last week was a very important milestone. We've installed the first platform on offshore. I was actually there when it was installed. And so the project is going really well. Statol and all the, the suppliers and contractors are doing an excellent job. So we, we stated late 19 for first oil, and I'm, I'm, I'm really confident that this, this will be achieved based on the current progress. So, so far, Young Setup has been a, you know, a, a fantastic story for, for all of us. What do you think about oil prices at a time when this, when this uh, field is up and running? Yeah, we used to say Jon Svedrup is sitting in a perfect storm. He was executed and developed at a time when the, there was deflation in the market, to call it the low cycle of our industry. And I think we see now the recovery of the oil price, and, and I'm relatively optimistic for the future because I think uh, during the low cycle we haven't invested enough in our industry, so we're going to see the impact of this. So I, I see further strengthening in the oil price at the time where actually Jon Svedrup is going to come on production. Hence my comment of Jan said of sitting on a perfect storm. So I think I'm, I'm relatively optimistic for the future for, and for Jan Svedrup, of course. And can you give us a number? I don't give specific numbers, but I would say today is where we are. It doesn't surprise me. And we see very high demand. We also see uh, we're reaching inventories level of the five-year average. So the, we could say that the supply and demand is in a balancing uh, state. And I think uh, when I say further strengthening, I would say north of $80 is probably not uh, unreasonable, uh, uh, certainly for the second half of 18 and then in, when we enter in 19. And that's on the back of the, the underinvestment, uh, I think, that we're going to see. Okay, north of $80. Uh, on the Capital Markets Day in February, you said that you are actively looking for acquisition and that they have uh, capacity to buy for a billion dollars. How is yes. it going? Well, the statement remains the same. I mean, the, the main strategy of London Petroleum is organic growth, which means we, 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 our main strategy is they are believed to find more resources ourselves and then develop them, which we've proven that in the last few years, certainly in the last 10 years. Now, M&A, a new acquisition remains an opportunistic uh, uh, strategy. We're looking, we're looking very actively, but of course, with the strengthening of the oil price, Sellers are becoming more uh, um, optimistic on the price they want to apply to their assets. And, um, you know, we, we really would like to buy assets that make sense for the company in a strategic, uh, a strong strategic reason to be. So we'll see. But, uh, but we are very active on that front also. But the valuation are coming up. They, of course, with the oil price going up, the evaluation, the, the sellers are more, uh, are more optimistic in terms of their, their oil price outlook. That's for sure, yes. You say that you want to buy uh, things, assets that are uh, a good combination with uh, Lindin Petroleum, of course. But th does that mean companies or, or just uh, um, pieces of fields? Or yeah. what is it? Yeah, there's no, there's not a golden rule. I think uh, whatever, if, if. You know, it could be it could be both. It depends on the opportunity, um, and really depends where what what the opportunity is. And uh, so we're not specifically targeting just assets. We we are very open to to different acquisitions if they are if they make sense to London Petroleum.